Okay, but now we have other business to discuss. Um, uh, Uber, my... do do you mind if I get like a, just a small spiel in on? on yeah, or we go ahead, my friend. I'll, I'll go make a drink. Okay, so just just real quick, everyone, uh, just because we have some people in here, uh, I I wanted to first off talk to a few of you that are in SKO, uh, the planet side people that you know have been with us for some time now. Uh, I just wanted to once again let you all know that we're always out there looking out for you all. Promotions are happening a little bit more nowadays, uh, and we we have some more people to keep an eye out for everybody. So if you didn't get it this time, we are still, you know, looking after you all. And uh, I feel like you guys know who you are, you know, the people that we've talked to already. Uh, I, I understand that sometimes it may feel like you're being left out or something of the sort, but that's not it. We, we have talked to you all and keep that in mind. Like we're still working on every single one of you guys and we want to see everyone climbing as best as we can. So I just wanted to once again like give like a comforting for for everybody that's in here. We we see you. We're we're gonna get to you all, and we're gonna talk to you all about it as much as we can. And the second point is to the new world people that I see in here, because I know like we we just had a major expansion into new world, and this is not a discussion that we're gonna have today. This is not a discussion for tonight. But in the future, we are going to talk about how to bring you guys from New World into the larger fold. Again, I just want to preview this discussion in here because it's not something we're going to talk about tonight. But it is going to happen, and people from New World are going to eventually start being a part of the larger family inside of SKL. So I just wanted to you know, spill that out for, for the other people in here as well, just so you all know how we're planning on doing stuff in the longer term. So yeah, it, moving on to the next one. Oh, sorry. Orby, yeah. Orby hit it on the head there, exactly, is I mentioned this during the New World Town Hall, is the thing I'm looking at is integration. I have a concept, um, and I'm going to be putting it to the Elite Command for the review to see if it makes sense. Um, and I want to get it put up to work sooner rather than later, because then we can recognize the people in New World formally as well and not miss a beat. All right, Orby, I think we could move on to Rage. Are you still kicking around? We'll move on to Planet Side. So this is going to be Planet Side specific for the next couple topics, and then we're going to move on to uh, New World and then SKL writ large. Uh, so next topic in here uh, is is going to be about the, the Jaeger event that we're going to have uh, coming up next and Rage is the one that's mostly involved with the Jaeger event so Rage first year round uh, do you want to jump up here is he in here he is but if he's if his if he was using his phone or um, older version it might not give him the opportunity to do it so yeah Rage Rage right click right click your name and say uh, and click like change to a speaker or some something of the sort uh, someone might have to inv invite him to. Uh, he is, I think, like, he's right, cool. bugging out. Yeah, there he is. Yep. That's game's rules bugging out. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so I am hosting a Jaeger event on the 30th. It's called, or not me personally, I'm just hosting the SKL Fast event. Uh, but it is called Nanites of the Living Dead. Uh, it is hosted by the Jaeger community at large. Uh, and it is a event, basically, about a zombie survival except in planet side. The zombies have knives and the living try to fight against the zombies to save their base or to hold a base for a certain amount of time. Uh, that's essentially the long and short of the event. Uh, more information is available in the, sorry, I'm scrolling, trying to find it, the uh, flash news section. I have a full message about that out. And yeah, I'll, I'll link it real, real soon in chat. And if uh, you guys are interested in that, uh, please sign up using the form provided and I will get you a role and a rank uh, so that you can see the text channel at the bottom of the SKL Discord, which is what 
we're going to be using to uh, communicate and group up prior to the event uh, so that we all know what we're doing when the event starts. So, yeah. Here is nope. the message. Perfect. And, yeah. Go click on that for more info. So highly encourage all our folks who have never been to Jaeger, especially on PlanetSide, to give it a shot. It's a, it's a nice place just to go. Um, private server, uh, you know, you, you can make mistakes, you can, you know, get your guy killed. It doesn't matter. It's, it's because it's a, a community server with characters already created. Um, it's, and largely where the competition and the competitive side of PlanetSide is uh, hosted from the majority of us on Jaeger and a lot of the training. So if you're just even slightly interested, I highly recommend taking a look at the link and getting, uh, getting informed. So next up is going to be Orby with the fundraiser. Orby. All right. So uh, I, was, I was going to save that. Uh, Uber, I guess you missed my, my message there. I was going to save this oh. one for... Okay, we can uh, after if you the want. academies, uh, but I, I can just go over it right now. I, I think that like we, we can talk about the academies if we want, uh, and then I'll go over the fundraiser after the academies. So, sure, let's just, um, let's just go over the academies first. Uh, perfect. So those of you in Planet Side know that we have a training system that is called the Academy System. The foundation was the Officer Academy. Uh, with the Air Academy following and then the Infantry Academy following shortly after that. Um, and all of these are designed to bring up the skill ceiling and the skill floor of SKL as a whole and to give you the foundations for getting better at a thing of your choice in SKL, whether it's flying, whether it's shooting people in the face, whether it's just leading in general. And we also have other initiatives happening. We're going to have an Armor Academy and a Construction Academy they are going to roll out. Um, and we're just working through the weeds on that. Um, so keep your ear to the ground. But I highly encourage each of you to take a look at each of the academies. If you're a junior leader, the infantry or the, uh, sorry, the officer's academy is the step ladder that is the easiest way right now for you to get up to Swarm Lord uh, in terms of strictly within game um, in planet side. And so... Arby, if you want to say a couple words on the officer side of the house. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can invite Horace in here if he wants to say a few things. Uh, Horace, just, just send me a poke there. Uh, but, but everybody here probably already know uh, that the Officer Academy is basically the, like the pumping heart of SKL, right? Planet Side 2 and our community specifically has always been about the public leading. And ever since we've established the Officer Academy as the system is it, it is right now, we have been having extreme success in game with just rotating and refreshing leadership, which in the end of the day is our end goal, just for us to keep that, you know, that eternal crusade going of 24-7 public platoons that are both welcoming to new players and good places for casual people, not only from SKL, but from other groups as well to be in. So that's, that's I, I would say the core of SKL is the Officer Academy and what our public platoon leaders are out there doing at all times. And every single one of you that are here and have been doing that for a while know who you are. And we're, you know, deeply appreciate the work that you guys put out there, uh, you know, in the game and just by being yourselves and, and following the SKL values. Uh, so for, if there is anybody in here that is not in the Officer Academy, and is interested in that sort of stuff, I would highly recommend, because that really is like the core of SKL to some degree, is, is maintaining that, that public, public platoon mentality out there, just helping out the game however we can. Yeah, and I would invite Jinxie and then Poncho to come up and speak about their respective academies, if they could please. So, Angel... Uh, I can't find him in here. Can you? Uh, I, yeah, I there he is. Since I'm an abrother now, I, I can power. just I can just pop up here. All right. Uh, the Air Academy right now. Uh, a lot of the stuff on the back end, sadly, has come to a slowdown due to some uh, IRL stuff with the people that are involved with it. Uh, some of them are. One of them's moving out of a house, so they've got paperwork in front of them at 
24 7 the other one's dealing with some family stuff so sadly right now on the back end stuff a lot of the air academy is kind of at a halt for the meantime but uh the operations side we are still going the same nothing's changed uh we have changed from fridays to the weekends so hopefully that more people including me can make it uh, more easily in the future so I hope to see a lot more of you able to to make it on a Saturday now, which will make us a lot more flexible with timings and stuff like that. Like how yesterday we moved it around a bunch because of the costume party. So hopefully Saturday brings us uh, a lot of new faces. I hope to see a lot of you out there if you want to learn how to fly a scythe. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still looking for more instructors for Liberators. I really want to get that off the ground. But uh, so please let me know if you know anyone uh, that is willing to teach that but other than that the, uh, the air academy is still going strong you can always find and signed up in the uh in the air academy structures you can see all the people involved you can reach out to us and in, and apply out there but uh, that's it for the air academy there's not much going on uh the uh the mechanized mondays i have personally taken a step back from i'm no longer showing up to those because i'm about to i'm about to move i'm moving 800 miles away from home uh, but I do know a bunch of the people that I have entrusted inside the Air Academy already are trying to uh, trying to lead on those Mechanized Mondays. So if you want to if you want to fly around and hunt down some tanks on Mechanized Mondays, we still have platoons going on Mondays. But uh, that's it for that, and the, uh, I think the Infantry Academy is up next. Hey, can we get somebody dropping hot links to the uh, Academy signups for each of these as they're they're talking? Also, as some supplemental information, just so you guys are aware of the scope of academies, we currently have 68 enrolled students in the Air Academy. So be sure to try and pump those numbers up, man. Being in the air is pretty fun. Hey, man. And uh, if, if anybody in here has never participated in the Air Academy in any way, I would highly recommend you guys. I know flying is the hardest skill that you can get in Planetside 2. It is, like, largely not... A popular thing just because of how hard it is but the office the the air academy in its core is just going to give you enough confidence and you know enough basics for you to start holding your ground against people at the same skill level and then from there you can start piquing your interest in flying or you can at least defend yourself in the air which is something that especially us on vs does we, we don't have a lot of pilots and uh, so if you're not in the Air Academy, if you have never been in the Air Academy, I'd highly recommend try to go for at least one session. I'll, I'll, I'm sure that you are going to see a difference. If you, if you participate in one and then try to fly for your next few days, you will see the difference. Perfect. We'll move on to Poncho. Hello. Yeah, so kind of like how Jinx does it, we focus on infantry instead of air. We run trainings every first and third week of the month, typically Sunday. Uh, as a whole, the Infantry Academy, we've got various guides, various resources, various training opportunities. So if you want to submit gameplay for review, we can kind of help critique that and give you kind of ideas of how to play. We've tried running ops in the past. And I've got some future ideas for how we want to take that in the future. So more small-scale group stuff, if anybody's familiar with the Praetorians, probably closer to how they run, kind of like HK. This Sunday, we will be running our first Jaeger scrimmage, though. We'll be pitting about six people versus another six people on Pale Cannon and Paris Eastern. If that at all sounds interesting, feel free to sign up and come on down to join us. Yeah, and everyone, to give you all here like a, a, a larger idea of what the, the Infantry Academy is all about, we want to start taking people out of the game and out of the SKL level of skill and start to turn them into like top level infantry players. People that are like going through to the same competitive, competitive level that the veteran people from Planetside play at. Uh, so you, you are going to be turned into a sweaty heavy. Uh, that that's the kind of stuff uh, there is like a very extensive process to it and it's much more than just you know this simplification but that's what it is at its core it's it's teaching you guys how to clean house uh, in the meta way for planet side 2 
Yep, just ask Slim Haney. He's been doing great so far. Yep. And if you don't want to be a sweaty heavy, you just want to be sweaty, move to Brazil, right, Orby? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So that's the uh, the academy. So the next um, academies, like I said on the radar, are going to be the construction and the armor. Um, right now we're canvassing folks who have experience, and we're just taking a look at um, kind of the deep dive into getting them established. I'm not going to give you any timelines as to when they'll be set up, but I just want to let you know that they are the next on the radar. Um, right now we're torn between the two of them. I'm not looking at a simultaneous release. It's going to be uh, one or the other right now. Uh, just to make sure it rolls off uh, properly, uh, as it should, like the other academies did. So, essentially a hitch. Okay, uh, Orby, now it's over into you. I think we're starting to get close on time. We're down to, what, 25 minutes yep. or so? So, I'll leave it in you. I'll speed it up. Uh, okay, so everyone, this next one, so this next topic is actually quite a big one uh, for us to talk about. And it's something that we, we're going to try to do to the best of our ability. And it's something we did last year as well. So Rogue Planet Games, if you don't know, is the company that owns Planet Side 2. And last year, they did a fundraiser campaign with Extra Life, which basically is like a charity, uh, like a charity organization that donates to Children's Hospital. Uh, and they decided to redo the campaign this year. So Rogue Planet game has a 15,000 milestone for their charity campaign. Uh, if you guys are looking at the meeting text channel right now, I will be posting the uh, tweet from Planetside 2. So there it is. That's like the official tweet from the Rogue Planet Games team that they're going for 15K for extra life. And uh, just like last year, Soulcars Legion will be participating in an official way in that fundraiser campaign. So what I'm going to be sharing with you all now is the SKL link for the fundraiser campaign. Just give me a second here. And while Orber's doing that, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a metric. So last year, we managed to have $3,000 raised from SKL alone. Yep. So you know, we would obviously want to beat that. So there but, it is. Uh, there it is. There's the link. Yeah. So if you, I, I would highly advise you all to at least open the page. Uh, again, they, we're not asking for anybody's money or anything of the sort. This is just something nice that we as a community can do and I think have like a, a pretty good impact. Uh, it is something nice that we can do once a year, you know, throw, throw some money towards, uh, Charity is always something nice to do. Uh, our charity is specifically targeted at the uh, National Children's Hospital that is in Washington, I believe. That hospital that we picked is an international hospital that deals with children from all over the world, not only in the United States, just because I know there are people that are international in SKL, so that's why we picked that one. Uh, all the money goes straight into the hospital. There's, there's no middle thing. There's none of the sort. And just for the sake of our own community, we have made several milestones and also several rewards for people that are going to be donating. So if you go through the page, you will see that for a $20 donation, you will receive a special rank in the SKL Discord. That's just going to be a cosmetic rank, uh, but it's going to be something that you're going to keep forever. Uh, so you guys are going to have like a, a special rank in here to let you know that you all donated. Um, for $50, you're going to be signed up for a list of Colossus pools. So you can pull a Colossus in SKL in a scheduled time that we're going to you know, start getting out once the donations start to come in. Uh, and for $100, you're going to be put in the list for a Bastion pool. Uh, and every single one of you are going to pull a bastion for a $100 donation. Uh, on the milestone sides, we have a bunch of really nice stuff. For 500 our very own Blade, so VS Blade, that you all know, is going to make a charity stream. Uh, we may have some other stuff going on on the stream at the same time. Uh, Blade might also stream New World during it. It might not only be Planetside related. Uh, for $1,000, uh, when we reach that milestone, for $1,000, we're going to make another SKL trailer. So we're basically going to have a fun-made video similar to what we had in the past for SKL. This is something that I've been working on for a while, 
and it's something that's going to be really nice to see, just like an SKL kind of recruiting trailer or something of the sort, just give people an idea of what SKL is all about. I've, I've been meaning to get something like that done for a while, and it's nice for us to have that as a milestone. The next one for 1500 is the Eternal Crusade, and this one is a really nice one. Basically, as you all know, here in SKL, we mostly have our Hive Lords and our Brood Lords doing a lot of the leading, right? So the Hive Lords are leading all the time, the Brood Lords are leading all the time, and you all know us, like you know me, you know Tayashi, you may know Horus and Prozen and all the people on Elite Command, but you don't usually see us leading all that much. We have stepped out of leading to make space for you all to start filling those gaps. But for an entire week during the Eternal Crusade, the people from Elite Command are going to be the ones doing the leading for an entire week. So everyone from Elite Command is going to dust off their clothes, people that are going to be volunteering, and we're going to be leading for an entire week stuff like my Saving Private Orby. If Tayashi can make it, you know, maybe we can have the Ghost Divisions. I know Prozen is going to be leading a lot of sweaty platoons. Uh, so it, it's just going to be a different week where instead of us having you guys leading for us and we mentoring you all, we're just going to lead ourselves. And I feel like this is something that we haven't had in a while, so it's going to be pretty nice to see. Uh, now for the next one, the, we are going to have an SKL lore channel. And this is also something that we've been meaning to get for a long time. This is like a smaller milestone. But basically what it is is... We're going to create a channel here on the Discord where we're going to try our best to record the entire history of SKL. So we're going to start, you know, questioning people, you know, about the major milestones in SKL, when people got into the leadership positions, and really write down the history of SKL, and maybe even give it, you know, some fictional flavor and, and make it, you know, more of a fictional story instead of just a... a description so this is going to be a really nice one as well for us all to enjoy and have it there uh, and the next one after that the 2000 is the SKL fan art so we have some people in here uh, and some more people with friends that are artists and if we do reach that milestone of 2000 we're basically going to have donated uh, fan art for SKL so we may have a few SKL posters for you all or a few SKL backgrounds you know with uh, you know, the Legion and people from the Legion and your our in-game characters and all that stuff uh, done. Uh, or maybe some major SKL events that happened in the past, some stuff that we can recall. We're still going to decide exactly what the, fun, uh, the fan art is going to be, but it's going to be some nice stuff. Uh, and the final one that we have scheduled is for the 2500 milestone. This one I will be specifically taking part of because right after this meeting I'll be going over to talk to the overall Emerald community, the other outfits as well. And on this one specifically, we're going to be trying to do a giant in-game uh, event. What I'm talking about in here is somewhat in the same size of the Andy and Cardo ceasefire event. Uh, somewhat similar to the Bastion Smash, the first ones, not talking about the last few ones, those are pretty small, uh, somewhat similar to the Living Free in the NC that we had some time ago where we crusaded in the NC Warp Gate. So we're talking massive scale in-game events. Uh, I'm going to reach out to other outfits, we're going to call all of our allies, and we're going to do something very, very big in-game, because I've been craving some of that, and we haven't done one in a while. So if you get to that milestone, that's what we're going to have. And then the final milestone for 3,000, just like we had last year, is going to be a major surprise for you all. We're not going to say what it is right now. We're still deciding exactly on, on what we're going to do for this one. But I can assure you all that it's going to be massive, and it's going to be nice for everybody if we manage to get to that point. Uh, and if we eventually reach that 3,000 milestone like quicker than we think, we may expand on it uh, to put in a few more milestones, and those are going to be like really crazy stuff uh, that you know we we are going to think about if we do get to that point. But again, like this is just once a year. Uh, I I know that the times are rough for everybody. Uh, everyone in the world is having a hard time right now. 
Uh, but if you still have some money that you can throw towards helping out a good cause, this is a good opportunity for us to do. And I feel like, uh, you know, it couldn't hurt. For some people, it's just one, one fancy meal that you skip. Uh, and again, we're not asking for everybody. We understand, like, each one to its own. But it's one opportunity. It's just once a year for you to do a, something nice for someone else. And, uh, yeah, for anybody that's willing, that's it. And uh, if anyone wants to help with the fundraiser in some other way, if you don't have the money but, you know, you want to help with the events or you want to help with the management, you can reach out to me because I can also use some help and would appreciate that. Uh, and if anybody has any other ideas on how they can help with the fundraiser, let me know as well. So that's all the information for it. And uh, Uber or anybody else, if you have anything else to chime in on that one, feel free. Perfect. So I am going to echo the idea of the Colossus and the Bastion. So I know by policy we give Colossus and Bastions out by request. When you donate the money, this isn't like, here's your Colossus, go have fun with. This is, okay, we're going to spool up yep. an event so you have a really good time. Um, and I made that, and we did that on the last uh, Colossus poll. Um, we ended up pulling the Colossus for our outfit spotlight. It was actually the last Colossus we, I think, it was uh um, yeah that is true <laughs> yeah so we he actually got two colossus because he pulled a colossus during a bastion smash it didn't go as well and says okay we're going to give you a really good experience and we pulled it on the end of the outfit spotlight it was a big ass armor battle he went down in a blaze of glory it was great so that's the kind of thing you expect this isn't just like here you go we'll take your money and you go you know do your thing no we're going to give you a good experience and uh, you can hold me to that because i'll make sure it happens and j just to really hammer home on how we we will uphold our promise to you, you know, if you if so, if say something like you pull a bastion and they nuke it at the warp gate, we will make good on our promise to you and make sure that we have another bastion ready for you to pull. Like yeah, we'll make good on that. And Tashi's bang on with that, right? It's you're you're really getting the experience. The quantity doesn't really matter to us as much. It's the experience. We want you to come out of it being like, man, that was awesome. That was so worth it. Right. Yep. And, and, and in the end of the day, like Uber said it as well, but this is not like we're trying to sell you like w outfit resources or anything of the sort. This is more a, a symbolic thing than anything else because the Colossus and the Bastion is something that we already give out on request. So you, you could technically ask for that outside of charity and still get it. It's more a symbolic thing than, than all the rest because it is a good opportunity for us to sprout out that, that area that we don't do that much and give everybody a good experience for their charity. So that, that's more of what it is. And uh, I, I just wanted to uh, you know, give a quick heads up that uh, if uh, I know the New World people that join, that they're not as involved with Planetside, but this is a discussion that we're going to have that if somebody from New World wants to participate in the fundraiser in, in some way, shape, or form, we can expand the milestones and the rewards as well and everything we're doing into New World. We just didn't thought about it, you know, first off because it's such a new thing. But the, the New World people that are here, you know who you are. We can talk about that, you know, if you guys want to participate in the fundraiser in, in any way. Uh, it's just that. It's such a new thing and it's such a new system that we couldn't say for sure how would be the best way to approach it. But if that's a discussion you guys want to have uh, in New World separately, we can include you all in the fundraiser somehow. So, Yeah, and that being said too, if you want to try Planet Side from New World and just get in and just delete a character, it's a free game. That if you want to just try it as well. Not yep. really trying to pull for you it, but... Either way, we're still learning these things and how to make the games get each their own rewards. And as these events go on in the future, we'll be better at it and we'll understand how we can give uh, separate milestone or separate um, uh, donation uh, rewards for each game that we're vested in. Yep.